In this video we are going to be discussing Imperial Dramon and Imperial Dramon Paladin mode. They are essentially the same Digimon but with just one small difference. We'll get into that in a moment. But before we go ahead, I did discuss its in-game rookie Vmon in another video. If you haven't already, make sure to check it out by clicking on the link in the description box. To be blunt with you all, Imperial Dramon feels heavy in comparison to the other characters. It feels heavy in its movements and some of its moves. Let me explain. When you push the square button, it feels as if it is one lag moment behind and doesn't attack instantly. A shame because its square 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 combo is a reliable one despite looking slower than most Digimon out there. And despite having wings, even in the air Impel Dramon feels heavy and doesn't seem to move quickly up there. It does have a move that can help it gain some speed though, we will get into that in a moment. Its up square launcher literally is a Shoryuken where it launches the opponent in the air while simultaneously being in the air itself. But, and this is important to know, Impel Dramon will hit the floor first. We'll get into its importance in a moment. Impel Dramon's grab is as worse as the one of Padamon. It does nothing special, doesn't push the opponent in a particular direction, nothing. It drops the opponent at the same spot where it was grabbed. Now let us get to that one move I said was important for its speed. In the air, when you press the square button or down square, it will perform a sort of dive kick where it will get down with speed. It's a move of good use because it gives Impel Dramon a speed boost. It is a much better use than his dash attack in the air, which is a bit harder to hit with and also very hard to combo after it. When it comes to its specials, it does have some interesting tools. With the Positron laser, Impeldramon has a solid projectile that won't stop and even gains a bit of speed after being fired. When done in the air, the time to fire the projectile is quicker. It is a move I would advise to spam because it doesn't need much recovery time after it. Important to know is that the opponent will not drop on the floor after being hit. That could potentially cause problems because Impeldrama wouldn't get some room to breathe. The opponent could simply continue speeding towards it despite being hit and an opponent on Imperial Jamon's face isn't exactly a good thing. Then there is Imperial Jamon's Splendor Blade move, another one of its specials. A move where it does a kick that launches which is then followed by a slash that pushes the opponent into the distance. It's a two-hit move. What is interesting is that if the first hit doesn't hit, but the second one does, then the opponent will be stunned only for a short moment but it is long enough to use Impel Dramon's up square launcher that can be comboed into. This Splendor Blade move looks scary to use because it cannot be cancelled, however, Impel Dramon can somewhat control the distance of the second move, which means that you can safely use it without having many fears of dropping off the arena. That is saying something because most dash specials can't be controlled or cancelled whatsoever. To finish you have Impel Dramon Super which is the same as that of Impel Dramon Paladin mode. The difference is the weapon they use at the end of the super. Impeljamon uses a beam cannon and Impeljamon Paladin mode uses the Omni Sword. A sword created by Omnimon who changed itself into said sword. And we did discuss the Omni Sword in this channel, I'll put a link towards it in the description box. Now essentially the super is nothing short of Impeljamon using a string of martial arts moves before ending it either with a beam cannon or with the Omni Sword depending on the Impeljamon you're using. It is a super that cannot be used just like that because it would be left very vulnerable and that for a relatively long amount of time. The best and probably only way to use the attack successfully is after its up square launcher. Very reliable. However, the super isn't that reliable. You have to be careful that there are no higher areas or something that could bother it because the super tends to miss. Anyway, what are your opinions about Impel Jamon and Impel Jamon Paladin mode? How good do you think they were in the game Digimon Rumble Arena? Write your opinions down in the comment section.